only a comprehensive win for the home side here would convince the pundits of Galway's credentials this summer. Peter Collins has this report. June was the venue last night as Galway opened their championship campaign against the Exiles from New York. Fielding nine of their 1998 All-Ireland winning side, Galway led by five points to two after 20 minutes, thanks to an inspirational Jarrett Fallon. Indeed, Fallon scored one goal and two points in that opening half. The goal coming after an impressive build-up through Corrick Joyce in the 26th minute. In fairness, New York showed some good spirit throughout the first half, but only former Monaghan footballer Michael Slowey could find the target with three first-half points. However, with the likes of Paul Clancy in fine kicking form, Galway led by 1-9 to three points at the break. New York needed a good start to the second half, and they got it after just 20 seconds. Gary Dowd's long ball from midfield, finding Slowey once again. He did well to beat off Tomas Meehan's challenge and found the net. However, the exile's cause wasn't helped minutes later when Keith Murray was sent off for that foul on Porrick Joyce. Joyce was subsequently carried off the field with a bruised leg, but the full forward should be fine for Galway's next outing. Minutes later, Galway found themselves reduced to 14 men when their star wing-back Sean O'Dequer was dismissed for that challenge. Nevertheless, Galway continued to dominate proceedings and they introduced Michael Donlan to the fray with 15 minutes to go. His first game for Galway since last year's Connacht final defeat. Niall Finnegan, Paul Clancy and Joe Bergen all picked off scores before the final whistle as Galway ran out easy winners, 1.15 to 1.5. And no doubt tougher tests lie ahead for John O'Mahony's side. Very little doubt about that at all, Peter, I can tell you. Well, now back to Harding again. Up in Ulster, they had their provincial semi-finals 